Imagine growing a Twitter account for 7 years. The account with 3000 followers each is a real human. Most of the followers are talented founders. The account that was retweeted by top makers such as Ryan Hoover and Peter Levels. Quoted on a Times Square billboard by Product Hunt. The account that was used to stay in touch with hundreds of friends, clients, partners and fans. Imagine having the account permanently suspended. Twitter is a great marketing channel. In fact, it can be the only channel of customer acquisition for your startup. I started actively using Twitter back then in 2018. I wanted to grow my landing page builder there. And it was a great success. Not that I only found hundreds of users for my SaaS. I also met amazing talents there, which helped me to shape my strategy and gave valuable feedback. I liked hustling on Twitter, mostly because it was an obvious marketing channel. The game has one rule. Give value. The algorithm will promote you and the people of Twitter will like you. Easy, understandable. I shared valuable lessons from my journey and my tweets were often trending. I never abused the Twitter rules. To get extra followers or likes, I believe in a steady growth. I'm not in a rush. Besides, if you cheat, you won't enjoy the game. So I didn't want to poison the fun for myself and play it like a good boy. So why did they ban me? Here's the story. One day I decided to reply to all the DMs. I wanted to be a good guy who never ignores an incoming message. I got over 50 DMs to reply. Half of the people were asking me for an advice and the other half just sent a link to their product hand launch. To every human who wanted to talk to me, I made a personal reply. With my bare hands, no GPT, no scripts, just a keyboard. To the other half of the incoming DMs, to the people who asked to upload a product on Product Hunt, I sent a copy-paste message. It was something like, blah blah, good luck with your launch, blah blah, check my Product Hunt videos on YouTube, here's the link, blah blah. So I sent like 20 of such messages and BAM! Banned permanently without a permission to create new accounts. Good news is I can appeal. Bad news is, according to the reports from Reddit, it can take them from two hours to two years to view it. But Elon Musk fired lots of stuff, including the support manager. So it can take even longer. Who knows how much time they need to make AI to resolve tickets. Getting my Twitter account banned made me devastated. Twitter is the place where everything happens. There the new ideas are born. There all amazing people are hanging out. And I was disconnected from the party. I, it felt depressing. Honestly, I'm still demotivated AF. So what's next? What's the life without Twitter looks like? I've tried to find something positive in this situation. You can easily imagine the advantages of using Twitter. I won't list them now, because it's obvious and it will make me even more depressed. Instead, I will try to cheer myself up by making a list of what's good will happen to me after leaving the Twitter party. Number 1. No Twitter means no vanity metrics and no dopamine spikes. These two things were seriously hindering my productivity. It's pure poison for getting work done. Instead of spending 5 hours on a great post, 10 hours on a video or 80 hours on a product, I was spending 5 minutes on a tweet and immediately getting the hormones. After getting 20 likes, I didn't feel like creating, coming up with ideas or solving tasks anymore. Plus, checking likes was distracting from work. Second benefit. No focus on Twitter means a focus on other directions. Diversification will be beneficial for the MarsX network. Everyone here is using Twitter only to promote their projects. It's risky and it severely limits a mindset. Number 3. I will do what I used to do before, what worked flawlessly for 6 years in a row, what I am good at and love doing. Building products. Number 4. I don't like tweets, I like posts. Posts are easier to turn into videos and stories. Removing tweets from my life adds more space for meaty posts and stories. And number five. 
I will put my bet on product hunt through launching products and making posts there. I already know four people from their staff, and I like this place. It's not a corporation, so it's not risky to invest my efforts there. Here are your takeaways. While on Twitter act like a normal guy, Twitter doesn't need a tech-savvy person. I copy-pasted. Imagine what would happen if I made an automation script. The second takeaway, forget external URLs, especially Indians. Don't, just don't. The third one, type. Don't copy-paste, don't generate, just type. Use your hands. And the last, the most important takeaway, you don't own your Twitter account. Start investing in your things. Email list, personal blog, also be diverse. Hang out on other websites, such as Product Hunt, Reddit, also join niched chats. The examples here are solo founders or WIP. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. See you in one week.